Being able to show a student, hey, the games you play, like Angry Birds or this and that that you know of, you can be creators of that, not just consumers of that, right? And when the students get that, right, it, it inspires you, you know, to, to be a springboard for something greater. And that's, that's really the thing that, that keeps me going. It's, it's at, at the end of the day, it's, it's the kids. So we've been partnering with Dreams for Schools for the past six years, and they work with us through their AppGM Plus program, which provides computer science programming to middle school students. What's really cool about Nathan is he gets schools. He came to us basically with a plug and play program um, that understands how schools work, uh, and also it's not just about coding, it's about collaboration, communication, critical thinking, and creativity. Taking kids and giving them the excitement and enthusiasm for what they can do and what they don't even know is out there yet happens when you have partnerships like Dreams for School. It doesn't happen without that. From a parent perspective, I think that there are a lot of different after-school activities that kids can participate in. Tons of stuff for sports. There are very few things that are available for kids to participate in that are educational like this. And so we're so lucky to be able to do something like this. It's fun because it's my passion and I like doing things with technology. Throughout the program I really learned that learning computer science requires engagement and cooperation with others and like learning a lot of teamwork skills and putting together an idea and actually implementing it. It's not just academic content over here and real world over here. It's marrying the two, which is really cool. So one of the things we do in our trainings with all of our college mentors is we teach them about growth mindset, right? We teach them about how to nurture their students' interests. So when a student in a class says, I don't know how to do this, it's not putting them down. It's how do you raise them up? It's saying, let's learn together. It's a lot of giving what we didn't have. Um, a lot of us didn't grow up having STEM in our schools. It was something that grew into the mainstream while we were in high school or college. You know, it, it's really rewarding seeing them sp like, just light up a little bit when they know what they're doing and learning something new. For programs like AppGem, I really hope that more kids can see what they're capable of in STEM and that they can keep doing these programs and inspire other students to go into STEM. It's amazing to see when they start the program as a seventh grader. Ten weeks later, they're done with the, the app um, and it looks incredible and they've learned so many skills. The amount that they've learned and the growth that they've shown is incredible. Right, when in our programs, we, we don't force them into, you have to be a programmer. Right? So if we have students who are interested in art, well, they get to learn about why UI UX design is such an important piece in technology and software, and that could be something they go into. They're up on the stage, they've got an app that works. I mean, they're showing it to like 300 other people, plus all these adult judges that are in awe of what the kids are doing. That, I think, is where the confidence is built. I look back and I never got to study computer science in middle school, right? It wasn't until a later part of my high school that I got exposed to it. But it's something going forward, you know, our education system needs to evolve to include as a foundational piece so that kids who are going into elementary now, who in 2030, 2040 are going to be in college and graduating, well, they're going to need to be ready for that new workforce. It's something that's foundational and that needs to be taught because our world is changing because of technology and that's not about to stop.